The sun provides a clean, renewable source of energy. But electricity is expensive to produce using solar cells compared to nuclear energy or power from fossil fuels. Research at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln focuses on a solution. The goal of this project project is to make more efficient and cheaper solar cells. UNL engineer Jin Sang Huang earned a National Science Foundation Career Award to advance his research into solar energy devices. Huang wants to replace the silicon material used in today's solar cells with polymers or plastics. We want to that make the solar cell under 10 times less cost than silicon solar cells that, so that then you can pay 10 times less and uh, get the same amount of energy. Wang and his colleagues have designed a new structure that includes a thin layer of ferroelectric polymer, a material often used in insulation. Combined with organic polymers and electrodes, the device would generate more electricity at a lower cost. When this lab-sized device is perfected, it could be produced on a large scale. Eventually, we want to invent a method that, okay, get a recipe for the industry company that, that they can follow and um, scale up this process. If Huang can improve the efficiency of the polymer solar cell, the new device could replace the large solar panels atop buildings. And because polymers are flexible, future solar cells could also be pasted on a window or incorporated in fabric to provide a charge for your laptop or warmth on a camping trip. Polymer materials are flexible, like the clothes is. So we can put uh, like solar, uh, solar panels in like uh, tent, on the tent, or like the uh, bags, like for computer bags, for chargers. So any actually, any flexible surface, we can put a solar panel on that surface. The ability to cheaply harness the sun's power would save consumers money and protect the environment.